Any small win for men in the family law court will be met with backlash and anger from those who benefit from the laws that penalize men. I don't know who said that, but you guys can quote me if you want. So recently, men in Florida got a small win, and we must talk about it because this might save a lot of men's pockets. In Florida, they're allegedly going to get rid of lifetime alimony if I'm not mistaken and get these leeches greasy palms out of men's pockets. I haven't read the article yet, so I don't know if it's permanent, but based on what I've seen on YouTube, this seems to be going through. So who said the laws wouldn't change after all? Well I did, I said the laws wouldn't change anytime soon, and if I'm wrong, I'll take my L. That doesn't mean I will tell you guys to start rushing back to the plantation in droves because this is just in Florida, and they haven't made child support fair or divorce more difficult to file. They haven't reversed no-fault divorce, and these generations of XXs, from baby boomers to Gen Z, most of them are not wife materials, so stand firm and hold the line. But I'm curious to know what the ninjas in Florida think about this change. Are you guys happy about this news and think it's a step in the right direction? Or are you guys indifferent and think it's not enough? Let me know in the comment section because I don't think it's enough. It's great that men no longer have to get fin est by garden tools who divorce men to get lifetime alimony and double dip by having a boyfriend who they live with and will never marry. I like this step forward but I won't celebrate this win until the Supreme Court makes this change permanent in all 50 states in America. That's my take on this whole situation. And look, the only protection we have right now is to stay single. Maybe men will take more wins in another few years but right now, staying single is literally all we have. So I'm hoping ninjas in Florida don't get too excited and run back to Tinder and plenty of whales to sign their life away. We have to keep holding the line until the pendulum swings back in men's favor and the laws are fair for both men and women. That's the only way we make significant changes for future generations of men. Because we're already done, most of the XXs we have today, including the ones who are turning 18, are nowhere near wife material. Many of them are already garden tools and lick and low lovers in their teens, and a good portion of them are selling cookie online and in these streets as we speak, so there's no hope for us. The truth is the truth, gents. We don't have many genuine wives out here, but we have an abundance of garden tools, so even if all the laws change to make things fair tomorrow, there would be no point in getting married to this current batch of XXs. I'm not marrying a woman if she doesn't have zero bodies and definitely not someone who experimented with other XXs. So for me personally, I know there's no marriage in my future. You guys can do what y'all want, but just remember what happened at the heights of womanism and the digital sexual revolution and what's happening right now before you decide to return to the plantation with or without the laws being changed. My message will always remain the same, stay single and hold the line. That's the only way you fully protect yourselves out here. Any other strategy is risk assessment in my books. Anyways, let's look at what's going on in this new bill to see if it's really a win for men. Now I won't cover the entire article because there's no need after skimming through it and seeing what it's all about. With that said, today's article is from Orlando Weekly, and it's titled, This is a Death Sentence for Me. Florida Republican women say they will switch parties after DeSantis approves alimony law. I keep telling you they're selfish, self-centered and only care about themselves, and they align with whoever gives them an advantage or what they want. But you guys are still hoping that what I say isn't true, and this woman is willing to switch parties because this new law potentially takes away her alimony payments. Many of these people are going to meet hell on Judgment Day with how corrupt they are. Anyways enough talking, let's dive into the article. Governor Ron DeSantis on Friday signed a measure that will overhaul the state's alimony laws after three vetoes of similar bills and a decade of emotional clashes over the issue. The measure SB 1416 includes doing away with what is known as permanent alimony. DeSantis' approval came a year after he nixed a similar bill that sought to eliminate permanent alimony and set up a formula for alimony amounts based on the length of the marriage. The approval drew an outcry from members of the First Wise Advocacy Group, a coalition of mostly older women who receive permanent alimony and who assert that their lives will be appended without the payments. Do you guys see this crap? Why didn't they get off their big behind and go work? You know why? Because they had already planned to get a man and divorce him to get permanent alimony as their retirement fund before they even walked down the aisle. That's why these Dan Oxygen thieves are mad that their permanent alimony is going bye-bye. And this should be a lesson to all the hoax strategists who put their faith and trust in women. They only care about themselves, period. If you believe that women are on the side of fairness and they are ride or die, you're a fool. Women only think about survival, self-preservation, lying on their backs with winners and using men to get the things they cannot get easily by themselves. And they love men who are easily manipulated or fix up projects, so keep that in mind. 
These older women who use the system to their advantage are irate that men can finally be free from getting unjustly robbed by them for decades. This alone should tell you where your priorities need to lie. And it's not with women in the family, it's to your Dan's self. Let's continue. On behalf of the thousands of women who our group represents, we are very disappointed in the governor's decision to sign the alimony reform bill. We believe by signing it, he has put older women in a situation which will cause financial devastation. The so-called party of family values has just contributed to the erosion of the institution of marriage in Florida. Jan Kililia, a 63-year-old Boca Raton woman who founded the group a decade ago, told the News Service of Florida in a text message Friday. You guys hear this ish. So what about the men who've been getting robbed and have their retirement jacked up? Aren't those men going to be in a worse situation later on? But they don't care. They're selfish and evil, so it is what it is. I don't know why men continue to give these people what they want when they obviously use the system to capitalize off of men. But you guys do you. I know I'm not giving any woman a chance to make me homeless and forced to beg on the streets for spare change. That will never happen. I will even sacrifice my seg's life and abstain for the rest of my life if that's my only option to not get screwed by a woman and the legal system. You guys say the same. Are you willing to give up the cookie until death? No, you're not. And that's why you'll always get screwed. Let's continue. The years-long effort to eliminate permanent alimony has been a highly contentious issue. It elicited tearful testimony from members of the First Wives group, but it also spurred impassioned pleas from ex-spouses who said they had been forced to work long past the age they wanted to retire because they were on the hook for alimony payments. Here we go. You see what men have to put up with just because they loved an evil incarnate beach. Some men can't retire and stop working because they have to give the enemy the money they could use to go towards their retirement. And do they care? No. Are they remorseful that the guy can't retire and finally settle down before he dies? Hell no. Men, I'm pleading and begging you to take yourself off of the plantation and don't end up like the old men who drop dead on the Walmart floor from overworking themselves to death. It's not a joke out here, guys. Your decisions have real-life consequences that can affect you decades down the line, so you can't say I didn't warn you to abandon your dreams of a happy family. Let's continue. Michael Buller, chairman of Florida Family Fairness, a group that has pushed for doing away with permanent alimony, praised the bill's approval. Florida Family Fairness is pleased that the Florida legislature and Governor DeSantis have passed a bill that ends permanent alimony and codifies in statute the right to retire for existing alimony payers, Buller said in a statement. Anything that adds clarity and ends permanent alimony is a win for Florida families. A win for men, that's what I think. The number of men who will have the old dinosaurs in Big Fat Grimace's bunion-infested foot taken off of their necks cannot be understated. Can you imagine being forced to support an Oompa Loompa with whom you haven't even had bedroom fun for decades while another man gets to push and shove on your dime all because of a decision you made in your 20s or 30s? It couldn't be me. Let's continue. This year, however, the proposal received relatively little public pushback and got the blessing of Florida Family Fairness and the Florida Bar's Family Law Section, which fiercely clashed over the issue in the past. Along with eliminating permanent alimony, the measure will set up a process for ex-spouses who make alimony payments to seek modifications to alimony agreements when they want to retire. It will allow judges to reduce or terminate alimony, support or maintenance payments after considering a number of factors, such as the age and health of the person who makes payments, the customary retirement age of that person's occupation, the economic impact a reduction in alimony would have on the recipient of the payments, and the motivation for retirement and the likelihood of returning to work for the person making the payments. Yes, send these lazy sloths to work. They wanted to be strong and independent, so let them break their backs and prove their strength and independence. These people have been sucking off men's nipples for far too long. Kick their butt off and send them to work. Men, we need this for the entire United States, especially in California. Get these people to work, pay taxes, and stop living off of men and having another man support them. This has been going on for far too long, and I'm glad this change is coming. Let's just hope we can get the Supreme Court to get rid of lifetime alimony for the entire United States. Let's continue. The bill, which will take effect Saturday, also will set a five-year limit on what is known as rehabilitative alimony. Under the plan, people married for less than three years will not be eligible for alimony payments, and those who have been married 20 years or longer will be eligible to receive payments for up to 75% of the term of the marriage. Damn, that second part sounds rough. So all a woman has to do is stick it out for 20 years, file for divorce, and get the bag. I'm not in support of this, give them nothing. That's where I stand, you either stay with me or get nothing. That's how it should be.
If I was going to make it fair, I would say if a man files for divorce, she can get the up to 75% because some of you guys will trade in your wives for a prime piece of steak and leave her out in the cold which I can't support. But if the woman files for divorce after 20 years of marriage without proof of abuse or neglect, she gets nothing. That's fair in my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section. Let's wrap this bad boy up. The new law will also allow alimony payers to seek modifications if a supportive relationship exists or has existed involving their ex-spouses in the previous year. Critics argue the provision is vague and could apply to temporary roommates who help alimony recipients cover living expenses for short periods of time. Yes, if they get a new boyfriend, then no alimony for the ex-husband. Make the other man take care of them. I fully support this. Let the next man pay. He's the one pushing and shoving, so why do I have to pay while he reaps all the rewards? Hell no, let that dude pay to push and shove, that's how it should be. Fithiash, a 63-year-old with serious medical conditions, said she can't afford another legal fight over alimony. My fears are that they can take you back to court, and I don't have the money for an attorney. I literally live off a little bit I get for alimony. I work part-time because I have all kinds of ailments, and now I'm going to be left without anything, absolutely anything, she said. Health insurance, Fithish added, will probably be the first thing to go if her payments are reduced or eliminated. This is a death sentence for me, she said. Well, sucks to be you. That's not the man's problem. That's your problem. We almost go down into the dirt someday, but that doesn't mean I'm going to feel sorry for you after you stab me in the back to collect alimony. Fix your own problems. That's where I stand. She probably was the one who filed for divorce based on statistics, and even if the man filed, why must he pay years later? Nah, let her solve her own health issue because if the man was sick, she wouldn't give a damn, and she wouldn't offer any alimony to help him out. Cut that beach off, I rest my case. Click the video on the screen for more stomach-churning RP content that will make you want to stay single.